Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today I will be comparing two different banana bread recipes. I know banana bread is a beloved staple baked good baked in so many homes across America and probably elsewhere too. So I wanted to try two different recipes, one from Tasty and one from Bon Appetit, to see which one is indeed better. So today I'll be using Tasty's ultimate banana recipe and putting it head to head with Bon Appetit's best banana bread recipe. Let's see who wins. All right, we are kicking it off with Tasty's ultimate banana bread recipe. The first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and brown your butter on a stove. Essentially, you will brown that butter until it turns amber brown and smells pretty nutty. Then you'll go ahead and mash your four bananas, add in some vanilla extract and some Greek yogurt or sour cream. In a separate bowl, we are going to combine our dry ingredients. So this includes our flour, salt, baking soda, and cinnamon, and then whisk those ingredients together. Now that we have all of our mixtures, our flour mixture and our banana mixture all ready to go, we are going to take our cooled brown butter and beat it on high with some brown sugar. Then go ahead and add in each egg one at a time, making sure it is light and fluffy before proceeding. Now you'll want to alternate adding the flour mixture and banana mixture to the butter mixture. Start and end with the flour mixture. And the very last thing is add in half a cup of chocolate chunks and fold that in. Then slide your batter into a prepared loaf tin and top with some turbinado sugar, which I didn't have, so I just used regular sugar. And there you go. That is how you make Tasty's ultimate banana bread recipe. And just look at that beautiful golden crust along with some gooey, soft and moist banana bread. Now let's move on to Bon Appetit's best banana bread recipe. The recipe starts out simple. You'll just need to whisk together the flour, baking soda, and salt in a medium-sized bowl. Now in a separate bowl, we'll go ahead and make sure to mash up our four very large ripe bananas. Once that's done, we'll use an electric mixer on medium-high speed and beat together our brown sugar, butter, and sour cream in a large bowl until light and fluffy. We'll add in two large eggs, making sure to mix thoroughly before each addition. Now we'll go ahead and reduce the speed to low, add in the flour mixture, and mix until just combined. Add in those mashed bananas, and then once again mix until just combined. The last step is to fold in your chocolate and toasted walnuts, a half cup of each, and just use a spatula to fold that all together. Then we'll pour the batter into a prepared loaf tin, bake it off in the oven for about an hour or until it's completely done and cooked through, and then it emerges as this lofty, beautiful banana bread with a golden crust and really gooey, melted chocolate center. All right, so I have a slice from each loaf in front of me right here, and I will now be doing a taste test to see which one's better. Tasty, which is right over here, versus Bon Appetit. Some initial comments are that I will say the Bon Appetit recipe was far superior in terms of not collapsing after letting the loaf cool down for about an hour. The Tasty recipe really sunk very quickly, and it was weird because the outer shell almost became kind of flappy, um, whereas the Bon Appetit recipe held strong, stayed true to its form. I will also say that the Tasty recipe was a little bit gooier. I don't know if I didn't add enough flour or maybe I added too many bananas, but I followed the recipe to a T, so I'm pretty sure it was accurate, but maybe it was underbaked a little bit, um, even though I did put it in for the full hour. Um, I will say the Tasty recipe was a little bit just gooier in texture. And in terms of toppings and inclusions, um, the Tasty recipe included chocolate chips, so did the Bon Appetit recipe. The Bon Appetit recipe also included toasted walnuts, but the Tasty recipe was topped with sugar. All right, I'm just gonna get into it and I'm going to do the taste test. I'm going to start with the Tasty recipe. All right, so I'm not usually a fan of the butt pieces, but these are the only pieces I have left for this video, so I'm just gonna eat the butt piece and take one for the team. Wow, that was really nice, but actually a bit sweet. I will say there's a little bit more complexity in the flavors because we added cinnamon and also browned the butter. 
So the flavor wise, it's a little bit more complex. It's not your traditional banana bread. It is pretty sweet. There's a lot of sugar in here and the chocolate chips are just another added layer of sugar. I will also say on the top, we sprinkled on some turbinado sugar and that gave it a really, really nice crust and crispy exterior. So that is the tasty recipe, but now let's move on and try the Bon Appetit recipe, which definitely held its shape a little bit better. It's also got a lovely brown crust, but it's not as crispy compared to the tasty recipe. There's also toasted walnuts in here instead of just chocolate chips. This one's really tasty as well. Or should I say, bon appetit. It's definitely got a lot more going on because there's chopped walnuts, chocolate, and banana, all kind of running rampant. I think if I were to add nuts in here, I would just omit the chocolate chips. Just because I like banana nut, and not banana nut and chocolate chip. I just think there's too much going on. But I will say the flavor of this one is great. We didn't add cinnamon and we also didn't brown the butter, but it seems more airy, light, um, and flavorful to me. So ultimately, who is the winner between these two banana bread recipes? It's a tough call. Um, I would say if you love really complex flavors and something a little bit more unique, I would give the tasty recipe a try. I know my recipe deflated and fell down a little bit, but I think if you don't over whip your eggs, and I'll try this again next time, I think you'll be in a good spot. I've made this recipe before and I've had much more success. And then also make sure not to under bake your recipe as well for this one. Whereas if you want a classic banana bread recipe, Bon Appetit is the way to go. It's just got all those classic flavors in there and it rose beautifully and held its shape. I will say that I would only pick one topping or addition. Don't do chocolates and walnuts, just pick one or the other. Anyway, that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this banana bread recipe. You really can't go wrong with either. If you're looking for flavor, go for tasty. If you're looking for something classic and tried and true, go with Bon Appetit. All right, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which recipes I should compare next. All right, thanks everyone, bye.